glucose has at least four uses in the cell. The first one is through glycolysis to produce energy and two molecules of pyruvate. The second one is in storage of glucose as glycogen, which occurs in both liver and muscle. The third one is in the hexose monophosphate pathway or pentose phosphate pathway, which produces NADPH and a pentose phosphate or ribose phosphate needed for nucleotide biosynthesis. The fourth important use is in glycosaminoglycans, which are important extracellular uh, matrix components and glycolipid and glycoproteins which are plasma membrane components. Fatty acids play at least four important roles in energy production, in energy storage, in membrane synthesis and in inflammation. Fatty acid beta oxidation in the mitochondria is the major energy producing pathway from dietary and stored lipids. Fatty acids are stored in the form of triacylglycerol in adipocytes and provide many tissues with the energy they need during fasting. Phospholipids, the major membrane components, are made from fatty acids and glycerophosphate. The essential fatty acid, linoleic acid, is the precursor of arachidonic acid, which in turn is the precursor of all eicosanoids. There are four distinct uses of amino acids from dietary proteins. First one is to provide amino acids to rebuild uh, tissue proteins that have turned over earlier. The second important purpose is to provide uh, the carbon skeletons from amino acids to make uh, glucose in the liver to restore blood glucose. The third important use of amino acids is in the synthesis of uh, purines and pyrimidines needed for nucleotide synthesis. The fourth important use of amino acids is in specialized products like heme, catecholamines and porphyrins. Cholesterol is a unique sterol and is essential for at least four distinct cellular functions. Cholesterol is needed for the synthesis of bile acids and bile salts, which are needed for emulsification of dietary lipids, digestion and uptake. Cholesterol is needed for membrane synthesis and for the maintenance of membrane fluidity. Cholesterol is the precursor for the synthesis of vitamin D. And cholesterol is the precursor for the synthesis of all steroid hormones, including cortisol, androgens, and estrogens. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.